Okay, I will let him call again. So let's see what his reaction. Okay. Uh, so kung um manlulo ko siya, so ngayon um ipo Franklin natin siya as a high school. Which one card? Speaking, sir. The ATM card. Yes, the ATM card, which is provided by the bank. No, I did not apply. Uh, Where's your ATM card? I have already my ATM card. Am I going to update your ATM card? That's why I'm calling you. Why? Your ATM card is going to be suspended for six months. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. No problem. Call, please now and tell me your ATM number. Huh? You take your ATM card in your hands. You must take your card in your hands and tell me your ATM number. Then I will update your account. No, I must go the right in the MBP. You are not to personally. Huh? Situation in the country. One million customers, so we can't allow every customer to come personally to visit the branch. That will be a problem for coronavirus. That's why we are here by phone. This is the reason I'm calling you, ma'am. I want, to, I want to process it personal. Ma'am, nothing is personal. I'm calling to you from every detail officially from the bank. If you see my message is coming officially from the bank, you continue with me. Otherwise, you put this. No problem with that. I'm sorry I didn't see your message. I will now send you a message. First, you just verify me the 16-digit number on your ATM card. First of all, you take your ATM card in your hands. Have you got the card? And why, and why do I need to give you my number? Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Problem. Good question. The thing your ATM card is going to be suspended automatically, and that won't be in words as well. It's because okay. according to the new policy, yeah, let me finish first. Whatever you want, you can say afterwards. The thing is, according to the new policy of government of Kuwait, you know, many people have went back to their countries and they just never came back. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, so that, that is the reason. Now, government of Kuwait and NBK have decided if anyone wants to use their KNET card anymore, first we will approve and then able to use that properly. I hope you're getting me. Yeah, um, okay, so... Yes, yeah, we, we need to just update. Ma'am, everything is within your hands. You just need the 16-digit numbers card and then I will send you an official message to the bank and then I will verify and update your my na my card please and okay yeah. so I need to renew my um my AT my ATM card but I need to yes. to request first the um I need to request first from our company that I need to renew my renew my ATM card no problem, you take your ATM card. Now I will update officially from the bank. You don't take any tension in your mind. I'm here to entertain you because this is what my is. So my ATM card is not with me now. It's not with me That's right now. Do you understand, sir? My ATM is not, it's not with me now. Is it? Sir? <laughs> Sir, choppy. Choppy. Hello? Okay. Can, do you have any ATM card picture in the mobile? I will check, sir. I will check. Yeah, okay. If you have your ATM card picture, send that picture to me on the same number. 
Can I have your name, sir? You, you just sent a your ATM card picture to me on this now. Can I have your good name, sir? I'm senior supervisor in Kenneta. Okay, sir, I'll just check. Yeah, just send it, please. Okay. Send me your ATM picture. Ayan guys, hello, good morning. I just woke up. Somebody called me from Mbiki, as he said. But I cannot, I cannot understand very well because it's um, Japi. Okay, and he's asking me to give him my ATM card, ATM number card, and he said my na ATM card is uh, ex it will be expired soon and he's pretending that he is he is a manager in one of the biggest com uh, company or bank in uh, in her, her in arab country and now i know this this is an iscam and he's asking me to send the atm card copy so of course i will not do that no because one of my colleagues, uh, yan, one of my colleagues is somebody uh, called he, uh, her also. And then, unfortunately, instead to say, they got her money from the ATM. And because she doesn't know that that's an scam. And now, so guys, listen, learn. If somebody called you, that um your uh, ATM card uh expired to be sold of course by yourself you will do you will um process this one by yourself and of course they will make you a bula bula that um there's so many way that they are making to you a bula bula that you will be you won you won like 100 kd or 500 kd or you won a load something like that they're asking so many things and then if you will if you will um grab that you know that opportunity that you think that you will that you won or oh, buy by your money okay guys so now he's waiting me to send my ATM card so guys so called me and threatened her in BK so it means this is an scam okay akala na mga scammer um, lahat ng tao ng kanilang matatawagan ay mauto nila okay so because how many times na may tumawag sa akin pero never kong sinasagot okay because pag sinabi nila na from MBK okay uh, so ignore mo na yun Although, iyan ang pinakamalaking um, bangko dito sa ibang bansa, pero never naman nila yung gagawin. Of course, um, sa sarili mo, alam mo naman kung ano yung totoo, expert ba yung card mo, expert to be soon. Of course, before um, ma-expert yun, uh, ikaw mismo mo pa process nyo sa sarili mo, okay, hindi yung ibang tao. Kasi, just in case, kukuhain talaga ang pera mo. Okay, so guys, gusto ko lang ishare sa inyo ang uh, nangyari sa akin this afternoon. Ang kinagising lang kasi ako dahil sa tawag ng isang tao na hindi ko naman kilala. So guys, this is a lesson learned na hope ma matutunan ng ibang mga tao na um, wag basta-basta magtitiwala. Okay, thank you so much.